Hello and welcome back to Food and Night UK and this week we've got the kings of UK metalcore. Barry tomorrow are going to be joining us here on the show and then we've got a feature on the old school barbecue bus out in Oldham. Hello, you're back with Food and Arty, and look who I've got here. It's only Barry tomorrow. What's up? Hey. Right. So, uh, you're here, you're gigging, you're on tour at the moment. You've yeah. got a new album coming out. Mm -hmm. Is it all going well? I mean, so far, so good. Uh, the reception to the new songs has been amazing. Um, it's just a pleasure to be back out doing it after so long. Um, obviously, we had the summer tour, but to be playing venues this size, headlining venues this size, absolutely, is, uh, it's something I'll never really get my head around. Especially being in Leeds, you know, this is like as close to a hometown show as it gets for us. Right. So, uh, at least for us two. So yeah. yeah, we're stoked. Looking forward to it, man. Really looking forward to it. And as I said, mentioned to you earlier, um, a special thank you for me because every morning I have to do physio, and every morning it's a nightmare. Every morning I listen to Barry tomorrow. Thank you, man. And I'm glad so there you go. I know some of you lads work for the NHS. Barry tomorrow, <laughs> tell your physio terrorists that. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> so um, one day a week I might switch to architects, but you like those guys, so I respect that. <laughs> um, yeah, so the new album's coming. Uh, Julie's uh, been uh, telling me good things. She's saying that you've expanded the sound, mm -hmm. but there's still a lot there for your existing fans, isn't yeah. there? It's still the. I'm from the singles I've heard so far, strong as hell. Thanks, really, man. Big riffs, big, big, just big. You know, That's the one. It's amazing, amazing. And and the vocals, the hooks on the vocals, especially on uh, Abandon Us. All that, this man. <laughs> uh, whoever wrote that line, how could they do it to us? Or mean, right? That, that's, <laughs> right, that's going to be sung in rock clubs everywhere. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I heard that, I was thinking about you know, like big rock club jams, you know, that's going to be like, you know, the ooh ah, ah, ah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wrote it. Yeah. I mean, based on new metal, so yeah. Yeah, definitely. it's definitely a bouncer. It's brilliant. Fantastic. Like it, man. And the life and death tracks. Are they part of the album or are they nope, standalone? Not standalone. The whole point of those was like we had a lineup change, we wanted to transition organically into what would become our seventh album. And I feel like, you know, we did that to the best of our ability. You know, the song's gone down great. It showcased Tom and Ed's capability in, in Berry Tomorrow and you know their talent too. So I'm I'm yeah. stoked it's been received so well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, you know, British rock's in fine health is, at the moment. It really, it really is. is. I mean they just on your label, you know, yeah. you've got yourselves, Witch Fever, you know, and then there's people like Kill Switch Engage and even Tools on there, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're not British, I know, but um, yeah. in cracking lineup of, of the people who run the label as yeah. well, you know, I am biased, but um, yeah, Music for Nations is just quite the stable at the moment, and British rock in general, I mean, with Architects dropping their new album, mm -hmm. which I think it's amazing. Yeah, likewise. Um, yeah. It, it must be quite an exciting time. It is, it is. It always has been like, you know, a prevalent place for, for metal music in particular, but you know, there's so many bands coming up and doing great things. Malevolence, Lord, While She Sleeps, obviously. Um, yeah, we're in, we're in good company. Absolutely. Who's joining on this set of uh, gigs? Uh, it's Novelis and August Burns Red. Oh, wonderful. We had a couple of lineup changes due to this, uh, you know, ever increasing cost of touring, but uh, you know, yes. Thornhill and Miss May I are missed. But uh, Novelist really stepped up in six days' notice, so all the respect to that band. I'll be yeah. looking forward to them. I've heard big things about awesome. Novelist. Really cool, really cool. So, how's your diet when you're on tour? So we've, got, we've, got, we've got to cover food, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so is it the usual pasties at service stations and stuff? Or? I mean, to be honest, my diet at this tour has consisted of just apples, bananas, and protein powder. I've, I've been horrendous. Like, and then hopefully get some short, uh, food after the show, but no, I mean, personally speaking, I've just not been eating. Yeah. I just, I can't be asked. See, I want, I want to get a brigade of chefs just to cater for bands. I because, wish. Yeah, that would be yeah. insane. <laughs> <laughs> I came across there's a site on the internet called Band Witches, which is just dedicated to bands that have been given rubbish sandwiches every yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we grew up, man, on like crisp sandwiches in the band. Like, we've been doing, yeah. I've been doing this band since I was 16 years old, and it was like, a privilege if you got any kind of like substance in between bread. Yeah. Um, other than that, it was always like you, you blow your mind because it would be 24 beers and four packets of crisps and a loaf of bread, and you'd just be like, I'm so confused about what I can make out of this. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, my diet's fairly, fairly normal, I think. Probably a little bit more carbs than I'm probably right. wanting or used to on tour, but um, yeah, I, I'm fueled by coffee. Yeah, really the main brands because I'm a scumbag, but yeah, that's about it, really. Yeah, that's cool. yeah. I was, uh, I was going. I mean, one of my bucket lists 
interview because I wanted to do one with um, Will Ramos from Lon and, Sh mm -hmm. Lon and Shaw, just to see about as vocalists, like um, how does your diet affect your vocal? Do you, do you, have, do you find there's certain things you, you avoid? No, I don't overly think about it too much. Like I think you can get really caught up in like uh, overthinking. I did for years. I was like, no caffeine, don't drink, like all of that kind of stuff, and. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't affect as much. If it affects you in normal life, it affects you in vocals. So it's right. exactly the same as like if you're going for a run or, or whatever, and you're doing any kind of exercise. If you're if you're eating badly, you're going to perform badly. Yeah, badly. absolutely. Well, if you can get away with it somewhat, um, mm. it will catch up with you. And so, just maintaining good levels of diet, a lot of water. Yeah, um, absolutely. But then also not eating within like probably two hours before you play. Yes. That is, that is a nightmare when you're a vocalist for sure. Obviously I've, I've noticed that a lot where I've been organising these interviews because it's just like how close to the gig. Yeah. Two to three o'clock in the afternoon seems to be the sweet spot. It really is. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Because you wake up, most people wake up late. I tend not to now, which is great because I work in the NHS as well whilst being on tour, which right. is always fun. Um, but yeah, it tends to be that sweet spot if you wake up and people mill about and then that's the time where you're hungry and then you know you're free then until yeah, absolutely. the show. But if you eat, yeah, if you eat when those doors are open, it's yeah. going to be bad yeah. times. You won't be doing many jumps on stage or anything. No, <laughs> acid reflux is a real thing, especially, <laughs> when, especially when you're in your 30s, that's for sure. Sorted, sorted. So, so um, right, we're going to get the food, the food's going to come, and the drinks and uh, we'll cut out here for now we'll get on to the food section of this straight after if you're enjoying what you've just seen there please subscribe and as if by magic the food's arrived in typical tv food program fashion i've never done that before here's one we made earlier right this is the lovely food we have here at colt wing we have the collie wings over here, this is the uh, Chipotle, uh, the Viet Cong, uh, I've forgotten what that is, that's the teriyaki, and I believe, yeah, and we've got a bunch of loaded fries and bits and pieces all over the place. So get tucked tuck in, lads, sweet man. Oh, yes. So give us your verdict on the Chipotle. Come on, I'll pass this over to you. Thank you, buddy. There we are. Oh, man. Banging, aren't they? Yeah, fantastic. There you go. If you're a vegetarian, you're looking mm. at this place, you think it's called cold wing, and they don't catch vegetarians. Rubbish. They do. And it's cracking stuff. Mm. Yeah, Thumbs up all around, yeah? That's beautiful. Brilliant. Now, my friend Keir Kemp, who you will have seen on earlier episodes, they sent me this from Condomaniac. It's their new chutney. Onion gravy chutney. And you want some more of that? There you go. So I thought we'd have a crack on this yeah, absolutely. with some chips and see what you make of it. I think it's absolutely incredible. So you get bashed. So it's onion gravy chutney. Onion gravy chutney. I think it tastes like winter. Oh, perfect for festival. Festive season, sorry. <laughs> yeah, and fair play. That season. Is, mm. That's delicious. Yeah, he told me about it when I interviewed him in London, and I was like, if you can pull that off, that'd be amazing. And sure enough. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That is delicious. I did not expect that. So what's this? Viet Cong. Viet Cong, that's your uh, Korean style. Nice. Yeah, Viet style. <laughs> yeah. Quite it's legit. Meat. It's like a roast dinner, isn't it? Mate. Yeah. That's delicious as well. Yeah. And there's, there's some the lemongrass going on. Sorry? There's some lemongrass going yeah, on. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so there we go, two thumbs up from the Berry Tomorrow Boys. So yeah, I think I might have to move in here. <laughs> so, and um, for when you want to um, sort your, your toothbrush oh, arrangement later on, we've, uh, we've given you a chilli <laughs> toothpaste there. And you'll notice it's unopened because even I don't dare ever go on that. <laughs> and for the Alan Partridge fans, we've procured the only Alan Partridge hot sauce available on the market right now from Accidental Partridge and this is hotter than the sun and if you've seen the episode with the uh, apple pie you'll know all about that so we'll have a crack on that do you want to try that oh yes please i'll have a go yeah apple 
and jalapeno. If you tell me how hot it is, I'm gonna try it, but I am pretty scared. This is good because hot ones don't have a go at me about chicken wings. <laughs> Interviewing people over chicken wings is kind of taken. <laughs> What are we saying? Yeah, it's nice, man. It's all right, isn't it? I, I wasn't expecting to like it. No? It tastes like apple pie. Go everywhere. Just stick it in. Stick your chip in, mate. Do it. Oh, it's all come out now. There you go. Have a bash. I swear the person that doesn't like any kind of hot whatsoever. Guess it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to stick it in there, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, it helps up. Like, I'm going to be ordering a whole case of that stuff, I swear. Gorgeous. And uh, yeah, totally suitable for vegetarians as well. And uh, meat eaters. Obviously, onion gravy goes with everything. <laughs> so there we are. So, thanks for coming on the show. Guys. Yeah, thanks I'm for massively us. looking forward to the uh, mm. new album. And I'm looking forward to the gig tonight. That's going to be great time. amazing. Thank you for feeding us in ample yeah. time for us there to go. up on stage. No yeah. more dodgy tour food. Yeah. <laughs> I've been spoiled. Right. See you later. Hello and welcome back to Food and Arts UK. And tonight I am at the Old School Barbecue Bus in Oldham. Let's go check this place out. See, it's a pretty amazing place. We're going to check out the brisket sandwich, and that should be turning up any minute now. <laughs> Gotta say, this looks utterly incredible. I mean, look at that brisket. That is absolutely tender as you like, I've just had a piece of it, it's gorgeous. We've got these seasoned fries, let's have a go on one of those. Mmm, excellent. Really, really excellent. If you're ever out Oldham Way, come down and check this out, this is outstanding. So many things I could say about that. The spice level's absolutely amazing, slow cooked, brisket you can't beat that and outstanding cheesecake i found out where they get it from i'm gonna go get some if you're in oldham come down here